What's up, YouTube? You're tuning in live with Marky Gaming, and I'm here playing this new game called Z Fighters. It's a Dragon Ball Z game, kind of like a card collecting game where you play through the Dragon Ball series, ranging from Dragon Ball to Dragon Ball Z to Dragon Ball GT and you know other stuff. I believe it goes all the way to Beerus and Wii storyline, but I've never gotten that far, so. I looked this up on YouTube to see if there's any like walkthroughs, you know, tips and tricks how to play the game. And I've yet to see a good guide. I've seen maybe one, but everything else, you know, it's kind of not helpful in a way. So as you can see, I already started the app up. Usually when you've been playing it for a while, the first screen you'll see when you open the app is the login. So you can see it requires an email, but obviously that's not a legit email. You can make any email really and it'll work. So I have markygaming at youtube.com. If you want, you can you know change your account to make new accounts or register so you're not playing on a guest account and to make sure you save your data. But now we will go enter a new game. Boom! Pretty epic. So my first tip to this game is that if you are a relatively new player, you will want to start on the most recent um, server. Simply because if you want to go like to the very first server like Super Saiyan Goku, keep in mind that those servers have been out for maybe like two months now. So you'll be behind like the players by two months with this most recent server poor it's been out maybe two three days so it won't be as bad you know it'll be higher it'll be better easier I'm sorry to be a higher rated player higher ranked and sometimes that's what it takes to be the best at this game so let's get it popping I've never actually read the story, but in a faraway place, early in the morning. Wake up, Lord Beerus. 39 years ago, the Oracle Fish predicted that the Super Saiyan God would appear. I heard of a powerful... S oh, wow, that's, that's fast. Man. Did y'all read that? Because I didn't read it. But apparently, they're looking for the Super Saiyan God. If you've watched Battle of Gods... It's kind of similar to the story, but this is different. As you saw, all all five Super Saiyans trying to fight Lord Beerus using his super attack that's usually destroying the world, but bam, you know, overpowers. And this is where you kind of just go back in time. So a dream where am I? Oh, oh, ah, ah. You know, there's Bulma with her. Look at that outfit, though. Come on. So, yeah. These are your starter units, you know, kind of like Pokemon where you can choose, you know, Charmander, Squirtle, or Bulbasaur. This is where you can choose your starter. I would recommend either Kid Trunks or Kid Gohan simply because their stats are better than Cell Jr. So you can click on the stats to see. So here are your four main stats, HP, Attack, Defense, and Spirit. You know, I'm pretty sure the first three are, you know, self-explanatory. And the last one, you kind of may be like, what is that? It's called spirit. It pretty much, it's a factor into how much your special moves will do. So every character comes with a special move, some attacking, some support. And I believe it factors into how much your special attack actually does. So we can open up the stats for all of them. And in my opinion, Spirit is one of the lesser needed stat. And what you really want is maybe like HP and attack. Or, yeah. So, as you can see, there's three different attacks. It's called a Rapid Cannon here, but from my experience, it's usually called Energy Bullet. So that's an um, that's attack that can attack all opponents on screen. But the main damage will be to the one 
that coincides with that where that character is standing. Next, you have Masenko with Kid Gohan, which is just a powerful single player attack, as well as the Kamehameha. I saw he said he was. Maybe they tweaked it, but as you can see, the best HP and the best attack would have to be Kid Gohan. And, you know, I think I'm going to have to go with Kid Gohan. So I got to choose a name here. So keep in mind how it says no longer than 16 characters, but, you know, let's try Mark E. Gaming. So that's roughly um, 12 characters because they include the space. And let's see if it'll work. Too many characters, like I, like I thought. So even though it says no more long, no longer than sixteen characters, the max is actually eleven. So let's see, Marky Games. Ooh. So here's like a little step-by-step -step tutorial on how to just get the game started by Bulma. You pretty much have to follow it. So as you can see on the main menu, there's home, team, journey, growth, trial, and call. So let's just follow Bulma. Good, you're finally up. You can help me find the Dragon Balls. Tap journey to start. So this is when, I guess, Bulma first met Goku. So you fight, and this is how the fights go. Um, it's turn-based, pretty much. And the special moves will happen on their own. So right here, you can call heroes. This is where you get better heroes. And from my experiences during the tutorial, you will get one A hero and two B heroes. And if I'm not mistaken, they have a select pool of heroes you can get. For like the A heroes starting, you can get Future Trunks, Kami, King Piccolo, and Gohan. I don't know if there's anyone else, but let's see who we get. NTN Shinhan, of course. Oh, and what? Did I not predict that? But yeah, you get Tian Shinhan. This one, you get like Dende, Ox King. Um, oh, there's, a, there's another one. Uh, Android 8. That's one of my favorite ones to get. But we'll see. Oh, Corn. I've never gotten Corn. This is going to be interesting. But yeah. For each, each call, it'll be, there's certain ranges on which characters you can get. Oh man, I'm being raided. Uh, I'll also play Clash of Clans. Who feel it? So yeah, when you level up, you can add more team members. The max is eight. So right here, you know, you're, at, you're forced to add the A character you got. So I added Tian Shinhan. Then you just fight, you know? So... You'll attack first, and then they'll attack. And then it just goes like down the line, alternating attacks. So it's pretty interesting, pretty cool. You can earn, you know, things that'll boost your attack, your defense, your HP, and you can equip them. So you saw that I earned a trident, and I will go ahead and equip it. You can also upgrade your weapons, like uh, I'm doing right now. And I believe that's the last part of the tutorial that they'll actually hold your hand through, like in the beginning. Oh, I guess you gotta collect the Dragon Balls first, which you can just get free stuff, you know? It's not super great stuff, but it's free stuff. Boom, you're done. Now, you know, it shows you the, top, the option to top up, which is pretty much uh, in-app purchases. If you wanna go top up, you can look at it. You know, if you're serious about the game, I recommend you just buy the very first one, the four ninety nine pack, because one you'll reach VIP three, which is another thing I'll explain in the game, and you know you'll get this S rank Goku, which is pretty good. So I'm just gonna do a little quick run through of the game before I end this part and go to my second part. But yeah, as you can see, you have the home screen, which this is. You know, you can get the Dragon Balls. This can range from capsules to Zenny to training potions and other stuff. Like things you can use to transfer XP to another character. These can contain things. And then, you know, you have your team. 
it'll it can go up to eight um, characters, but since we're so low leveled, it can only go up to two. And it'll unlock more. Here's your journey. You know, as you can see from the titles, it goes from you know Dragon Ball series to the Dragon Ball Z series. Goku dies. That's when Raditz comes. Vegeta, Namek, and honestly, I've never seen anyone get this far, but I'm sure it'll work. You know, there's Janemba, Majin Buu, and I have no clue what these are. Probably yeah, Dragon Ball GT. You know, Baby, Golden Apes, Super Android 17, the Shadow Dragons. And I'm guessing that they haven't fully thought out everything. Yeah, this is the normal story mode, and this is the hard story mode. Oh, clear in normal mode to unlock. So you pretty much have to complete all the tasks in one of them. Yeah, so here we have growth. As you can see, we don't really have much. But we have crystal ball divination. You know, it pretty much explains that if you divination three days in a row, you can get free stuff. They have nimbus travels, which is just like a roll roll a dice and you can get free stuff um, this one is for your enhanced stuff so you can enhance your armor weapons and all that this one's a free B level skill because I've never gotten anything better free any the one right next to it which I can't really show is just get another Nimbus you can get gamuts which is this game's form of like premium currency so you use that to like call and use it for events and all that. Then you have right here energy orbs, which can help you get powerful new characters. This is if you top up 15 bucks. Uh, I'll go more into detail later. Trial, I tried putting on trial, and but my level's not high enough. And here's call. So for the basic, you get five per day, one every 10 minutes. For the epic, you get one every three days. And for the super, you get one every day. So as you can see, basic can range from A to C. I've never gotten an A from that, so usually it's B and Cs. For supers, it's, it ranges from B to S. S is, the, is better than A. And I get Bs a good amount. I get As a good amount. And lucky, sometimes I get Ss. On epics, S and A, majority As. But, you know, you can get the S. And, you know, I'm saying you can get these S's through the free daily call. So I recommend that if you do want to do an S call, you do the Ultra Draw where you wait for until you get 3,000 gamuts. And then you're guaranteed an S hero. So, yeah, I'm going to stop it right here until or I'll, until maybe tomorrow and I'll continue and progress more into the game. So I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.